cake with many layers is a delicious show-stopping dessert, but don't try this at home until you find out the finer points of making a crepe cake. Sue Neal is here to share her expertise on that. And my producer suggested asking a question that I don't often sure. ask in the kitchen. What's the risk? <laughs> What's the risk of this recipe? What's the risk ratio? <laughs> um, well, because it's just crepes with filling, you know, whipped yeah. cream in the middle. I mean, there's definitely some slip sliding away potential going on. <laughs> and I think that's the big risk is that it looks pretty, but then when you cut into it, it's going to be like, oh, it's sliding all over the place and it's not so pretty. That was like a damsel in distress. Ah, like, oh, help ah. the cake, save the cake. So you're going to show us how to troubleshoot that. Yes, I'm absolutely going to do that. Let's yep. dive in. I want to know. Okay, sure. So um, obviously you've got to make <laughs> crepes, right? Yes. I like <laughs> how I you say it. Crepes? Crepes. Am I just a total How Utah you girl? Crepes? That works too. I will say crepes for the rest no, no, of the No, 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 don't. Say it in no, your no, fancy no. way. It no, feels, it's okay. It feels more legit. <laughs> it's just how they pronounce it in France. See, exactly. Thought, I mean, it, you see, pshaw. we all know what pshaw. we're talking about. Let's pshaw. just say it with the proper French pronunciation, shall <laughs> okay, we? Okay, say it. Crepes? Crepes. Okay, there you go. Let me say it your way. Um, when I think of crepes, I'm thinking of, what am I thinking? Material or something. But anyways, look, a big pile of Crepes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Most people know how to make crepes. They, they, they have a recipe. I do have a foolproof recipe on my website, though. So if you haven't, do that. And, I mean, there are a gazillion tutorials on how to I do mean, it. Am I mean, am I guesstimating right? You've got, like, 15 layers there. Um, no, I think there's probably about 20 in there. I'm okay. not sure. But And the reason it's all piled up like this, and I wanted to show you this, is I actually freeze them. Oh. And, and that just saves me having to be in the kitchen for too long. And I always make extra crepes. crepes. See, now you got me confused. Um, just wax paper or parchment paper in between, and they'll freeze for months. Okay. And it's great. So if I want to do savory, I can pull it out, or if I want to do a cake, I'm ready to go. And this one is a strawberry rhubarb, correct? No, a strawberry lemon. Lemon. Mascarpone oh. cake. Fancy, yes. fancy. Yes. Yeah, but there's all sorts of versions. And this is kind of a master um, recipe. So if you want to be creative, you can do your own thing. So I've done a strawberry lemon mascarpone, and then this is a blueberry um, chocolate oh um, little mini one as well. Yeah. Amazing. So what's your favorite filling when you have crepes? I like lemon. You do like I them? Do. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, light, that works. Spring. Yeah, it's light and spring. It's really perfect for this time of year. Mother's Day is coming up. Yeah. And you don't have to bake to be able to make this. All right, so the real key to this is the filling. To avoid that slip sliding thing, <laughs> we are going to kind of fortify, stabilize, make that filling firm so that when you put it in the fridge overnight, when you get it out and you cut it, you'll see those nice layers. Okay. And in fact, the picture that I have on my website, I didn't have time to do that, so that's not perfect. <laughs> we should cut into that and see how it goes. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. First of all, this is, um, fortified or stabilized whipped cream. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to do this because it's kind of fun. So, and it's a little intimidating whenever you're using Knox gelatin. Hello. Hello, yeah. It's basically like jello but without the flavoring and stuff. Okay, so this is um, one teaspoon. Okay. And we're just gonna add four teaspoons of water. Okay. And we're just gonna mix that up. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because it can be like, what? Am I gonna really put that in my beautiful whipped cream? Sure, this is light and fluffy. This is kind of heavy and wet. Yeah, so you whip your whipped cream. Okay. And then after it's all whipped with your sugar and your vanilla. Uh huh. And so see how that's kind of loose? Yeah. And so that's what you want to pour that in. If you're not quite ready, we're just gonna set that aside and you're gonna see in like 10 seconds how that's gonna solidify. Okay. That is totally fine. You just put it back in the microwave for a few seconds. It won't heat it, but it'll just kind of get it back to that consistency. That's the consistency yeah, we now want. try that. Well see how see how oh, stabilized yeah. that is? Yeah. Yep. Have you ever had like uh, a waffle from a certain uh, waffle truck? Yes, and they, <laughs> I'll say it. And then they do a scoop in the center and uh -huh. it, it stays. Uh-huh. Well is that's it. what they do. Exactly. Yes, yes. So I want you to put in a little bit of that, just like okay. one spoonful. Okay. So we've got the stabilized whipped cream. Now I also like to add, um, this is mascarpone. You can use cream cheese as well. Okay. But just make sure you rip it, whip, whip it. <laughs> whip it really whip well. It good. But like, look at that gloriousness, right? So we're gonna put a bunch of that in. And I I'm like gonna have word. you use this. Okay. Go ahead and mix that. Okay. So that is your master recipe. Once you have those two things, you pretty much have a mousse. Okay. We're gonna finish putting the rest of the whipped cream, but I always like to do a little bit of whipped cream, the mascarpone, and then my flavoring first, and then I fold in the rest of the whipped cream to create that mousse. How do we flavor so it? So what one do you want? You lemon. like lemon? Let's, well, do lemon? Let's do lemon. But I've got a blueberry curd here. I've got pureed strawberries. How much? Uh, that's good. About that? Or more. A little more? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
she I know, really likes it. Sue. Okay, so mix that up. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and just, after that's all mixed in, you don't may, maybe not have to do it here, but then you'd fold in the rest of your whipped cream. Okay. And you'd end up with this really beautiful filling that would go in between your crust. Lovely, right? lovely. So what we've done, uh, I've, what I've done is I've prepared some of the blueberry. Okay. So let's, should we try to assemble it? Do we yes, have time let's to do, do that? Yeah, okay. Um, so we're gonna use one of these babies here. Mm -hmm. What is start that? Oh, it's just, I got it from oh. uh, Orson Gigi, I okay. believe. It's just like a little cake thing. Plate. So you want to do this. So this is, let's get this mixed this up This is our bit. blueberry. Yeah. Now here's another trick. When you're starting to layer, mm -hmm. um, you want to layer it pretty generously. Oh, okay. At the first time I made this, I was worried that it was going to be too much and so I did kind of thinner layers uh -huh. and it was not it was not very good. Okay, so go for so it. So just think of it like if you had a personal just like a single crepe and you put filling in it, what's your ratio that you love? Okay, go ahead and start kay, layering kay, on top. Kay. Yeah. Now another thing you can do, put one more layer on that. Um, the sample, I've only done about 15 layers on there and I've <laughs> alternated the lemon uh, mousse and the strawberry mousse. Uh -huh. But look what you can do as well. I actually sliced strawberries on the strawberry for an extra oh, pop. Yeah, give it to us. Okay. Oh, do a little bit more. And this is one more tr trick too. Is I like to see how on the sample the it's kind of coming out. It's mm -hmm. kind of like you're starting to see the mousse. You want it right to if the you, edge. Yeah, because if you don't do that, then you're going to go, oh, a layer of crepes yeah. or a pile of crepes. That looks so pile yummy. You want to be able to see Kay. the filling. But you could do... This. Ooh, I like that idea. Yes, right. pop the flavor in pop between. Pop the flavor in between. All right, Sue on her website has a couple of variations, keep including going. a Nutella banana, uh -huh. which I think people will be really excited about. And while they're there, they can sign up for your card class, oh my yes? Gosh. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm eating the blueberries they and they're so good. You got a good batch there? <laughs> yes, I have a card class coming up starting May 7th through the 11th here in Utah. I also do mail order, it's called. It's the heart of the kitchen. Aww. Or the heart of your home is the kitchen. All my projects were inspired by the kitchen. Perfect. Lots of fun, yeah. Look, she's popping blueberries like they're bonbons, I and know. I'm sitting here slaving away on the and crepe don't, And cake. don't forget to top um, as well, like, that's what really makes it, yeah. you know, is just to get some whipped cream. Yeah. And this is just Nutella ganache. See, it, ganache? Did I say ganache? Oh my we're God. all over the place with our yeah. mouth pronunciation, Jay. <laughs> I did second guess it when you said, what's your favorite filling for crepes? And I said lemon? Yeah. Second to chocolate, probably. So top yeah. that off. How about little, lemon chocolate? Ooh, little drizzle drizzle. That would be good. Mom's going to love you. This could be your <laughs> gift, right? In a bowl. We'll link you over to the recipe from studio5.ksl.com and to car, uh, Sue's card class, where you can sign up uh, there to make those lovely cards. And we're going to enjoy this lovely crepe cake. Yes. Thanks, my friends. Well. We love you.